Hello vaping friends, I am AJ the Vaping Yorkshireman, I hope you are well. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little how-to video on this thing, the Hugo Vapor Squeezer Box Mod Squonk thing. Um, you've bought it, you've had it a while, you love it, but it's getting a bit grubby inside. You, you've tried to clean it, but you just can't get the cloth to the bits that you want to get to. So, how do you take it to bits to clean it properly? Come with me, and I'll show you. Okay, so I've taken the RDA off, I've taken the battery out of the bottle and everything, so we can get to the bits and pieces. Now the bit that you can take out is this contact here, which is the positive contact. Uh, it's connected to the switch, and obviously you've got the connection there so the first thing you want to take off is this um, it can be a bit tricky so what I tend to use is like a, a latex glove or um, rubber glove something just something that will give you a bit of grip so and then just slide this out it's going that way take that out so that's basically that's the 510 as you can see now it's always a good idea to keep this clean because that's your contact between the uh, switch and the 510 and we'll put that aside for now give my hands a bit of a wipe so now what you've got is this screw here so it's a positive screw so what you need to do if you've got a screwdriver that's thin enough to go down this hole it'll basically go down and you can unscrew it unfortunately I don't have something so I have to be uh, a bit creative and use my little screwdriver here so let's put that on okay so now what you do is slide that down okay and you want to be unscrewing it and it'll pop off okay so there's your screw to take this out again so as you can see you've now got the contact which is a little bit grubby as you can see there you can take the switch out as well so as you can see there we've got a bit of juice in there so I'll give that a bit of a clean I'm just using a microfiber cloth you can use whatever you want um, and there's a toilet tissue well you can use toilet tissue um, what I sometimes do is I'll use um, some rubbing alcohol just to uh, give it a good clean. Be careful with rubbing alcohol though because if there's any stickers on or anything like that it can melt the glue on there. So as you see I'm just giving it a nice clean. Give that a clean as well. I'll give the um, contact a clean while I'm here. Clean, clean, clean. There you go, so it's nice and clean. Get that out of the way. And basically, to put it all back together, it is a reverse. Oh, I haven't cleaned the um, contact. <coughs> now, this bit here, that's the contact which connects to your 510. Yeah, so it's keep them clean. And it's just putting it all back together. Got your switch. So that will go in like so, as you can see, because it catches on there. That's how it locks, because it slides up. So I find if you slide it up, it stops it from moving about. And it's just putting it back together is just the reverse of what you've done. So put that in there. Let me do wondrous things with my screwdriver again. It's a lot easier when you're not doing it on camera. And then you want your little black thing that was on the bottom. Put that up in the middle there. Get your little screw. Put your screw in the hole. Get your screwdriver. And hopefully, there we go. Screw it back down. Make sure it's tight. There we go. Nice and tight. Let's get rid of this. There we go. So it's all nice and tight. One thing I would recommend 
is with these contacts here is if your battery is a bit loose let me get my battery <coughs> sorry my cell if it's a bit loose which this one isn't as you can see it's nice and tight but over time these things will start to bend up yeah so all you need to do is just get yourself a screwdriver or something get underneath there prise it down a bit same with that you can prise that up don't do it too much otherwise you won't be able to get your battery in but so I found it started to get loose but that's quite tight yeah so then get your 510 but as you can see there is that's where the, the um, threads are and start to thread that back up Come on you bugger screw that back on and get your little whatever you're using to grip just to tighten it up at the end and that is it nice clean contact I mean ongoing maintenance might just basically keep this clean you know if it's looking a bit dark you can get some um, something like Brasso or Autosol or something like that yeah, just just keep it clean, basic mech mod maintenance, and that's it. So let's put the bottle. Bottle, where's the bottle? There we go. Put the bottle back in, nice and gentle. Put the battery in. Get the door. Get the RDA. Oh, this thing where you got dogs, dog ears go everywhere. I don't want dog ears on my RDA. Put the RDA back on. There we go. All done. Well, I hope that was you. <coughs> Blimey! Hey, it's on fire. Goodness me, don't you think that voice is weird when you when people vape? I don't know if you've ever had it yourself, but listen. And then people start to try and talk. And it just sounds really weird. Oh, sorry, vapor everywhere. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you, and I hope you've now got lovely clean boxes. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe. Click the little subscribe button wherever it is down there somewhere. Uh, and click on the little bell as well, because then that will tell you when I've got some lovely new videos for you to watch. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, vape on, live long, and I'll see the all later. I've got a message to tell me, it's about the dinner So get your ass up to Yorkshire and you're gonna be a winner Forget about the pasta and the curries and rices We've got some better than the Far East Spice There's a couple of eggs and some milk and flour A pudding like no other and you'll wank for an hour Ah, oh, the bloody lovely when there's had a few beers If I eat some on an hangover, the fucker disappears We don't care where the from, it could be Russia to China You could even be the owner of a big portion